Something's missing from my makeup. It's the eyebrows. It's my it's my eyebrows. That's what's missing. Hi babies, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Hope you're having a great week. I hope your hair journey is bold and bubbling. That's not a great word to use for it. Bristling, bristling, bustling. There's a word I'm looking for and I can't reach it. I hope your hair journey is going great. Mine is, I think. And again, it's been ongoing for like a few years now. <laughs> few too many years. Anyways, hi my name is Stella. Um, I do a lot of weird things to my hair and today is no exception. We're doing weird things to our hair. Not on our heads though. No baby. We're doing weird things to our hair on our face. Specifically, we're going to be touching the ones on our brow bone. You can change a person's face if you give them the right eyebrows, honestly. I think I look grumpy, grumpier than usual because my eyebrows don't really show, which is sad. But it's also great because it prepares us for today's video. Mm. We're dyeing our eyebrows. I did a video recently wherein I bleached my eyebrows and dyed them red. It was one of my most, most incredibly fun, amazing videos. It was a significant change, even though it was literally only my eyebrows and eyebrows take up such a small part of the body. It's such a recognizable part of the body. Today we're dyeing them blue ish bluish blue mm. this is my hair at the moment it's a galaxy it's got like lighter purple darker purple and then it's got these hints of electric blue it's like my eyebrows are once again boring my hair however is not and so we need to match that we need to be on top of our a game we need to be out here looking successful so it can be successful speaking of all this success i am so beyond ecstatic to introduce to you today's video sponsor hear me out omaze.com revealing to you one of their incredible prizes that they are giving away if you follow the link below or go to omaze.com slash stellacini you are in the chance of winning an incredible luxury home in austin texas or 1.3 million dollars in cash oh my god four bedroom four and a half bathroom home 3200 square feet of space there are multi-living spaces and private balconies custom windows floating stairs serene paint palettes all over the house it is absolutely gorgeous it is a stunning 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 home that i am so so envious of alongside this prize you can also choose to donate to one incredible incredible charity called folds of honor it is a non-profit organization that provides educational scholarships to children and spouses of america's fallen or disabled service members their educational scholarships help support private tuitions homeschooling and tutoring for children as well as higher education for spouses and dependents so far they've awarded 20,000 scholarships across the u.s as well as guam puerto rico and the virgin islands seriously an incredible incredible charity that you can donate to alongside entering this prize so for your chance to win an incredibly incredibly lavish house as well as to support an incredible incredible charity please hit the link below or else go directly to omaze.com slash Seriously, enter, bringing success right to you. Today I want to dye my eyebrows blue or blue-ish. I have these colors right over here. These are by Schwarzkopf. This is my booklet. It's got a bunch of other colors, but they're pretty boring. Probably the most exciting color spectrum that they have, which is incredible because they're, they're beautiful. I've tried a lot of these colors. Specifically, I've tried this one multiple times. I have a funny relationship with this thing because despite this being called dark blonde emerald, this comes out pretty blue, like seriously blue, like a lot blue. And originally I was going to go ahead and put that on my eyebrows, um, but I just, I, I saw this right now and all I'm thinking is, is as well as this one. Last time I did this, I actually went ahead and bleached my hair, but back then I wanted a pretty bright color. And now I do want kind of a darker, darker eyebrow. Point is I'm not bleaching my hair today. I'm just literally going in with permanent hair color. 
this at your own risk. Literally half the things on this box are safety instructions, specifically advising to keep away from eyes. I understand the risk of that. Please make sure you do too. You get this in your eye, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna sting, it's gonna be pretty hard to wash out. Not to mention that obviously because this is permanent color, we're gonna be using hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a burning thing, literally. If you just wipe this on your hands, it will burn. Great, let's start mixing. I have my brush and bowl over here. First main color that I'm going in with is this one right over here. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous, almost periwinkle color. And because this color turned out so wildly different, I have a sneak suspicion that this is going to turn out not exactly as it says. So again, I'm being a bit apprehensive. Past style lavender. This packaging is gorgeous. Okay, that's six grams of that. I can add this into the mixture. These are both level sixes, so that's great. Let's do this one. Dark blonde magenta 689, which means this is a level six, which I think my eyebrows are like a level six, so that's perfect. So I have seven grams of both, which means my color is gonna be somewhere between the level seven and the level eight. I am going to go in with 20 volume developer because while I do want the color to actually deposit on my eyebrows, I do want it to be a bit bright. And if you use a 20 volume developer instead of like a 10 volume, it adds a hint of lift because of the hydrogen peroxide. So I added the lavender and I added the magenta and there's like a hint of blue and a hint of pink. It's really pretty. Oh, it's so cute. It's pink and blue at the same. It's turning periwinkle. Oh my god. Wow. So it's now a gorgeous, gorgeous pastel lavender. It is stunning. I love it so much. Now I'm going in with a barrier cream. You can use Vaseline. You can use sunblock. I don't know. <laughs> Something that's physically going to barricade the dye from the skin. Look, it's oxidizing. I think it's gonna be purple. Bon appetit, babies. My dance doesn't do anything because it's too light. That's my biggest fear right now. Making sure to get the underside of the eyebrows, obviously, because eyebrows are like, you know, dimensional and stuff. I think that's fun. What do we think? Do we like it? If I had armpit hair, I'd maybe dye those too. But anyways, you can see it's oxidizing red. It's now turning kind of like Ribena colored. It's kind of fun, but it's not gonna be blue. Okay, I can say that much. Wow, I, not that I messed it up, but I think I chickened out more than messed it up because it was like blue eyebrows might be a bit too harsh. Again, layering it in. Fun. Wow, am I, is this just a repeat of last time? Definitely not gonna be blue. Anyways, um, I'm gonna clean this up because I still don't want to risk even potentially messing up our skin, so. Okay, now we're gonna wait 20-ish minutes until it's done processing and then I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm also look at my hands, look, they're blue. All right, it's been roughly 20 minutes. My eyebrows are considerably burning and and I think they're ready because they're dark or much darker. They're sexy, but not purple. I thought I was gonna do something new, but in reality, I'm still dyeing my eyebrows kind of red. Damn it, this is not going according to plan. Oh my God. They are, they are red, as in they're sexy, don't get me wrong. This, this isn't what I was going for, so... I'm gonna re-dye them. Dark blonde emerald. Great, okay, um, time to dye our eyebrows blue again. Purple, whatever it is, just I don't want this color, great. <laughs> Guess who looks like a hot mess? Yikes. They are considerably more blue, which I am so happy about. Hi, baby. Hello. Oh, sorry, guys. I forgot to introduce you to Salami, my baby. <laughs> Bye. Don't want to dye your hair, do we? Well, 
Sunt. All right, I know you have to pee. Give me a sec. I'll be right with you. Um, I am going to style my hair, just touch up my makeup a bit because I wiped half of it off, and then I'm gonna sh come back and with a, with a hopefully fun look. I'm gonna try and make them work. I'm not forming an opinion yet because that would be stupid. Who would who would form an opinion when it's unfinished? You know. So what are you? What do you want? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Mm. You like my eyebrows? You like my eyebrows? No? Oh god, you have lipstick all over you. I'm so sorry. Oopsie. You know, you're ruining my outro. This is, this is when I show off my skill or talent or whatever. Not gonna lie, I was a bit alarmed when I first wiped it up because I didn't know what I was expecting, I'll be really honest. I was like, okay, blue, but can you really imagine blue eyebrows? Anyways, this is where we're at. Mind. Shh. Okay, so here's how we're looking now. Um, I'm vibing with it like a lot like this is i don't know this to me is a look maybe i was i have a, a sad suspicion that it might be working just because the hair and the makeup and the lenses are like so grungy i'm not sure how they would look without all of that but i'm i'm vibing with it Blue eyebrows wow they're they're very dark though they're very navy blue um all right if you want to attempt this don't don't dye it red first it's pretty useless as a step just dye it blue immediately <laughs> you should be fine i'm going to still link the entire procedure down below on the off chance that you want to dye your hair either red or else blue not your hair your well you can your hair it's hair dye but your eyebrow but yeah i think it's really amazing i think it's still it's still a look i still really like it i'm still really vibing with it i think it works with the with the look that i have at the moment and it's it's pretty on point with what i had in mind and now i don't look as eyebrowless as I mentioned, feel free to check out the incredible Omaze prize. It is amazing. I said the link will be down in the description box or else you can go to omaze.com slash Dalcini. So I'm feeling this, I'm not gonna lie. So, you know, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll leave it a go and I will see you in my next video. What do you want? <laughs> when do you want?